Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking Essie 77 again. For the second video, second video today, why am I doing a video today, you might ask? Well, I have another pipe dark review for you guys, another pipe dark review. So, tonight we have another stuff like tobacco, okay? Okay, we have Southwest Westminster. Now, not to be confused with uh, GLP's Westminster or Greg P's Westminster, this is uh, Southwest Westmin Westminster. So, and please excuse me, I'm very tired right now, so it's almost 10 o'clock. So, when you see this video, um, it'll probably be in the morning, so, because I'm very, very tired right now. Anyway, <sighs> okay, Southwest Westmin Westminster. It says, skillfully blended Latakia with Virginia and Turkish. Okay, this tobacco contains one, two, three, four. Four primary tobaccos, Latakia, Oriental, Turkish, and Virginia. Virginia. Anyway, let's have a smell. Very smoky. Very rich. Very heavy. Very smoky. Okay, this is what it looks like right here. One thing I want to mention, actually two things I want to mention. Number one, this tobacco came very dry. When I opened the tin, it came very, very dry. So I'm not sure why, but it came very, very bone dry. Secondly, on TobaccoReviews.com, which is always my reference, it, it got a very, very low rating on TobaccoReviews.com, 1.7, I believe. So let's see if I like it. Okay, let's do the review. I've had, um, I believe, five bowls so far. Anyway, strength-wise, nicotine-wise, I would say the nicotine content of this blend is probably mild. Like most Latakia blends, English blends, I get no strength from it, just your general smoking experience. The body of this tobacco, the flavor, or the, bo the body, um, I would say it's probably medium, medium bodied. It's uh, not tremendous. I would describe the, the flavor of it as kind of like um, Field Master by Selfleth, but a little bit milder. It's kind of like a milder version of uh, Field Master, so. It's a good, it has a very smoky, spicy, uh, sweet taste to it, but not overwhelming. Compared to Fieldmaster, which was much stronger, much richer, this is a lot more mild. Okay, the flavor. There's no flavors, there's no additives, no mirror, it's just pure tobacco. The room note, how, how it smells to non-smokers. The room note of this will probably smell not appealing. Anything that has lot of key in it, basically, I just want to sum this up, anything that has lot of key in it will not smell appealing to non-smokers, because... Most non-smokers don't like the smell of Latakia. Latakia is a very strong, strong tobacco. Has a rich, rich uh, smell like burning wood, burning leaves. And most non-smokers don't like that. There are some people who just say, I, I hate the smoke, smoke, period. Tobacco smoke is just disgusting. But for people who actually tolerate pipe and cigar smoke and like to be around it, probably not the, the best thing to smoke around them. That's just a little ramble there. Let's see the tongue bite. This does not bite. It does burn a little hot. I would say it does burn fairly hot. It's very dry, but there's no tongue bite. That's just my Skype account, sorry. Anyway, the retro, the retro hand, when you retro this tobacco through your nose, it has um kind of um the same basic flavors. Um, Very uh, smoky, very spicy. Let's see, what else do you guys recommend to another price smoker or price smoker? Yes. If you like a lot of Kia blends, English blends, blends of Latakia, that are English blends, whatever, yeah, you'll like the tobacco. If you're a strict aromatic smoker, strict Virginia smoker, like I always say, don't try it because you probably won't like it. But this tobacco is not the best thing in the world. It does not suck. It's not like a bad tobacco, but it definitely is very dry, way too dry, probably needs to be remoistened or rehydrated. Also, it does burn pretty fast and pretty hot, so be aware of that. It does have a kind of like a harsh taste to it, so Probably not the best thing to smoke in the world, but they are definitely, definitely worse. I, I'm not sure why I got such a low rating on TobaccoReviews.com. Over a rating for this tobacco, I'd probably give a Southwest Westminster, Westminster, Westminster. <laughs> I'd probably give it a 10, eh, 7 out of 10. That's why I see my book because I'm going on a grading scale. Anyway, give me your thoughts, comment, rate, subscribe, personal message, personal message if you want to. And yes, I'm very, very tired. Uh, peace out, and bye.